Welcome back! Alexandre here. I'm a blockchain developer and today I'm gonna discuss about Bitcoin halving. Many people over the time they asked me about Bitcoin halving. What is Bitcoin halving? Why is Satoshi Nakamoto envision this halving process? Uh, what is the fact of the Bitcoin halving? And what could be the price prediction or price effect of this Bitcoin halving process? When Bitcoin was launched on January 3rd, 2009, the Bitcoin block reward was 50 Bitcoin. This means that every time a miner was proposing a new block, was making a solution, proposing a new block with transactions, that miner was receiving 50 new Bitcoin out of thin air. Uh, how it works? Every 10 minutes, a miner is proposing a new block. This block is being propagated in the network Everybody's checking if all the transactions are valid, all the digital signatures are okay, and for the work, the proof of work uh, he had done, uh, he is rewarded with 50 new Bitcoin out of thin air. The reward is made by a special transaction called Coinbase transaction, which is pretty much printing 50 new Bitcoin out of thin air. On January 3rd, 2009, there were no Bitcoins in the network. After one day, there are more and more Bitcoins printed, but exactly by this uh, rule. 50 Bitcoins every 10 minutes. Satoshi envisioned an, a simple idea, a scarcity model, which, which means that over the time, uh, miners will be, a, will be rewarded less and less in order to create some kind of store value to make it scarce. So the scarcity model is actually working hand in hand with this a uh, halving process. So at the beginning there were 50 Bitcoins as a reward for the miners but he decided, Satoshi Nakamoto decided in the code that after 40 years of mining the reward for the miners should be split by two so it will gonna be halved. He could you know use any kind of mathematical formula he just decided to use uh, division by two uh, because it is like a, a logarithmic in base two. He decided to divide the reward by two in four in four years uh, in order to make the math sound very well especially when people are interested to look to a Bitcoin reward graph it will be easier for them to see a uh, scarcity a logarithmic in base two uh, reward function and it means that every four years the number of bitcoins that are generated out of thin air are half divided by two so from 2009 to 2012 miners were receiving 50 bitcoins every 10 minutes in 2012 the first scarcity kicked in the first halving process kicked in so now from 2012 i think like in uh, in november 2012 miners were receiving 25 so in 2016 miners got another reduction uh, so from 25 bitcoins before 2016 in 2016 they started to receive 12.5 bitcoin every 10 minutes so every four years the number of bitcoins the miners are receiving is being halved by two uh, so now in 2020 uh, in May we will gonna have the next halving uh, proce process which means another four years have passed and miners will no longer receive 12.5 Bitcoin uh, every 10 minutes they will gonna receive about 625 Bitcoin every 10 minutes which means in May the miners will gonna receive half their earnings in just over the night does it have a, a, a does it have a huge impact on the market I don't think so because Bitcoin is already 10 years old more than 80% of the coins had been mined already so this reduction is not that important actually in Bitcoin there will be only 21 million Bitcoins mined before 2100 and by now we already have about 18 million or approximately 18 million Bitcoins which were mined so this halving will not gonna have a huge impact uh, over the night but probably in the next year in 2021 uh, this will gonna introduce an interesting boost to the price of Bitcoin uh, because the miners were receiving less and less um, coins for the work this halving means for the miners that they were gonna receive less rewards for the same work uh, that means uh, the electricity or the process 
of mining uh, the same transaction will cost more for the same amount of work the miners will gonna receive less reward the next halving will be in 2024 miners will gonna have the next halving so in 2024 miners will gonna receive about 3.125 bitcoins every 10 minutes so over the night there will not be gonna be a major impact on the price but probably in one year because miners uh, will gonna receive uh, over the next year less and less rewards for the same work uh, it means uh, the price probably gonna go up especially because miners will not be able to dump those coins uh, out of thin air for such a low price many cryptocurrencies have this halving process um, not all of them but there are many cryptocurrencies there are so proof of work cryptocurrencies with halving there are so proof of stake currencies with halving uh, bitcoin is one of them was actually the first uh, cryptocurrency that designed this scarcity model uh, to make the rewards um, to make the miners to receive less and less uh, rewards for the same amount of work Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency that actually created this economical mechanism in which the miners were receiving less and less uh, rewards for the same amount of work over the time. So this is the envision of the Satoshi Nakamoto in order to make it to make Bitcoin more as a store value, like a better kind of gold, a digital kind of gold, and uh, to make it scarce because gold in reality is scarce. So this is the reason why many people believe Bitcoin is the, it's a better kind of gold. It's a digital gold, but definitely it must be better than gold. If you have questions, let me know. You can write down a comment, but don't forget to smash that subscribe button.